guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the 100% Mission Cruelty Free Project Pan. And I do know it has been a while. It has been four months or so since I did an update for this. And I was actually ready to do the last update there in December. But then I wanted to finish a product or make more progress on a product. Um, so I pushed it and I was busy and then January was there and then I was like let's just skip it <laughs> So here I am with my update for February <laughs> Which is also late So now I'm just doing it because I need to move things in because I have finished what I wanted to work on This is a project that is created by Sarah and Sarah is a person that I started following last year I think and then I was asked to do this and I'm really I was really excited because I just started my cruelty free journey when this began so it was kind of perfect timing actually we can reboot this project <laughs> when we hit the 5 empty goal and I have hit that by this update. I'm excited about it so let me just tell you and show you my empties and so on because I'm going to roll in five new products. I'm excited and scared at the same time because I'm running low on items. <laughs> they are most lipsticks, blush and highlighter and so on. So it's only the hard items left. Yeah, I have one foundation that is not cruelty free, but I'm already working on a foundation and I have a foundation in this. And I don't want to swap a foundation when I'm not going to use it anyway. So that seems just silly. Since I last talked to you guys, I had my Palmolive Deluxe Size Shower Gel in here. And then I had my Yves Rosé. Li lip balm, tinted lip balm in raspberry and I finished that as well and then I had a Maybelline color sensational lipstick in tessellizing taupe which I also finished then I have an empty that I can actually show you because those empties, the three I just told you they were gone in 2019 and I threw, <laughs> I threw away the empties without even thinking about me saving it for this update or this video. The item that I finished since last time that I can actually show you because I finished it here in January. It is my color tattoo from Maybelline in Creme de Nude. This one right here. I used this as an eye primer and I'm excited for this to be gone. I did like it but I did not love it because it was not the perfect base for my eyelids because I have oily eyelids and it did crease but it was, it was not terrible. Then we have the fifth product, which is this Dawn BB Cream for Maybelline. I was so sure that I could use it in the summertime because I got a tan and so on, but apparently not enough for this. Um, so I have no idea if I even want this anymore. So, reboot is here. My five new items. Lip products and cheek products and eye products. <laughs> The first item that I'm pretty excited about and I actually think I have a good chance of finishing this year. It is my Benefit Coralista Deluxe Size Blush or it's not deluxe size but it's not full size either. I had pan in a few weeks on this blush so it is very loose in the compact, can you say that? I think I have a good chance of making very nice progress on this. The next cheek product is a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and this is called Crown of My Canopy. This one right here. This is a highlighter, it is a darker highlighter, but because it is a little bit rosy, I think it will be beautiful as a blush topper slash highlight on top of Coralista or the other blushes that I am trying to pan right now. Um, but yes. Wet n Wild is obviously not cruelty free anymore, so I need to go through this. This is gifted by Amanda. She didn't want it anymore, so I got it. Thanks, girl. <laughs> we have some lip products. I have two here, and it is from the Maybelline Gigi Hadjit. I have no idea how she is pronouncing her name. Hadjit. Gigi Hadjit. Had it? I don't know. 
So I have the lip liner and the lipstick in Tower. T A U R A. Tower. So that is the lip liner, that is the lipstick. I think they are going to be perfect with my cool toned eye looks right now. And the last item is my Morphe palette, but this is not 35OM that I worked on last year. It is the 35K palette. I really want to make some progress in this because I focused all year on the other one. And this year, this needs to be used more. I have not decided what yet, but it is most likely going to be the more lighter shades or a champagne or even a gold maybe because I'm not working on a gold. Um, so let's see what I want to hit pan on first. Last year I didn't work on any shimmers so I actually don't know how long it will take me to hit pan on a Morphe shimmer shadow. I do know that the matte takes a while. So maybe I am going to randomize a shadow a week or something that I want to work on or something. I have not decided yet, but I actually, I just want to make sure I am using this. And I'm sad my face is not quite free because they are quite big, those palettes. <laughs> those are my four products for this update and my new round in this project. I'm pretty excited about it and you should definitely check out the other ladies that are in this lab. And Sarah, of course, they are all linked down below in the description box as in my videos, my updates and stuff like that. We have a playlist as well, so if you want to go follow that, please do. And I hope you guys want to stick around if you're new here. And I hope you take care until my next video. Bye!